Hello my subscribers, I am back with a new video. Before we going to see the video, please hit those subscribe button to get more videos in future. Have you all ever heard the name Zeppelin? A airship, before get into to the history, imagine yourself now a days, we have a airplanes and lot of aircrafts to travel. But Zeppelin is completely different. This airship can float in the sky due to the fact that it is fully filled with hydrogen gas. Those airship is called as Zeppelin it was made in year of 1900. The Zeppelin was the name given to this airship by its inventor Ferdinand von Zeppelin and who he is. In the year 1838, Ferdinand von Zeppelin was born in Germany. His family was extremely rich. So Ferdinand had the option to go to a decent college and ultimately enlisted in the military, where he served for a long time. Ferdinand went to America and participated in the American Civil War while he was in the military. He had a meeting with a balloonist there, who took him on a hot air balloon ride. Ferdinand was stunned that utilizing an inflatable somebody could take off through the sky. He began to consider additional flight research for these technologies after his air balloon ride. In 1874 Ferdinand thought of the plan to construct a gigantic, unbending body carrier with chatterboxes inside to make it float in the air. Because it had a metal body that would support the gas bags, his airship would not be like a balloon. This would permit it to be a lot bigger than a sightseeing balloon. So Ferdinand spent all of his time and effort building his airship after retiring from the army. It was designed by an engineer he hired. They ran into numerous issues, however Ferdinand continued his attempt to finish the aircraft he longed for. At the point when they were done planning it, the carrier had a 420-foot metal body made of aluminum. The long cylinder-formed body was covered with texture holding the sacks of hydrogen gas inside. It was about the size of a football field and a half on the off chance that you can imagine that. The carrier had blades to settle and guide it and a propeller on the back to make it go. Under the Zeppelin were gondolas. Additionally, it featured cabins where passengers could eat, sleep and socialize and 50 people could fit on board the ship. The airship was built with a lot of money but Ferdinand paid for most of it with his own money. The aircraft came to be known as the Zeppelin which was Ferdinand's last name. The first successful flight of a Zeppelin over Germany's Lake Constance occurred in 1900. It flew at a speed of 30 miles each hour and was named LZ-1. The LZ-2 and LZ-3 were two more Zeppelins built between 1900 and 1914. Over those years they flew 37,000 individuals on 1,600 trips with no accidents. Connection between the World War I and the Zeppelin During the World War Ferdinand's Zeppelins were used by the German Army and Navy to drop bombs on their enemies during World War I. However, due to their close proximity to the ground, Zeppelins were easily damaged by shots fired from below. Thus. The Zeppelin was utilized in wars, however not regularly. After the Second Great War, Zeppelin and his organization kept on manufacturing a new aircrafts. And they came up with one of the greatest boats was named Graf Zeppelin and it was flew as far as possible across the colossal Atlantic Sea. It was 776 feet taller than to football fields. After they manufacturing the latest version of Zeppelin, in 1929 they chose to fly the Graf Zeppelin all over the planet. The aircraft Graf Zeppelin visited places like New York, Los Angeles, Tokyo, and Germany lastly arrived back in New Jersey. By 1937 Graf Airship had made 590 flights, including 144 sea intersections, and had flown more than 1 million miles. And the team decided to develop the Hindenburg. The other popular aircraft was known as the Hindenburg and completed development in 1936. The Hindenburg was 804 feet, very nearly three football fields long. It was controlled by four gigantic motors, providing it with the most extreme speed of 84 miles each hour. A large portion of its journeys were among Germany and the US. 
In 1937 while the Hindenburg was arriving in Lakehurst, New Jersey its loudmouths burst into flames and the airship collapsed in the ground with passengers. It was gotten on film and displayed on newsreels all over the planet. Hydrogen, the gas used in the Zeppelin, is highly flammable, which may have contributed to its rapid fire-up. Tragically, the Hindenburg's accident prompted the conclusion of a significant time period of Zeppelin aircrafts. Zeppelin stopped flying after the Hindenburg disaster. Now scientists want to bring them back. In modern Zeppelins in more recent times, a brand new company called as Zeppelin Luftschifftechnik constructed a new technology airships, a contemporary version of the airship. These airships are more modest, however worked of more secure materials and utilize a latent helium gas, but the team already clearly decided that the new Zeppelins are used only for tourism and aerial photography and among other things. We still see planes and jets in the sky, but a Zeppelin is a rare sighting these days. Because of his previous accidents and the history. That's it. Thanks for watching the video and keep support us. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for more upcoming videos. Thank you all.